West Ham are top of the table, but for penalties conceded, let's talk about it. Yes, West Ham Network, it's Holly, and we are going to be taking a look at one of the sides of our game that has been costing us greatly this season, and that is, of course, the amount of penalties that we are giving away. Now, as you can see from this image, we are, in fact, top of a table that we do not want to be top of, and that's because we've conceded the most penalties in the entire Premier League, and by a pretty long way. As you can see, we've conceded 10, and the closest to us is Everton with seven. So let's take a look at the penalties that we've given away recently and the impact that it's had on our results. Most recently, we gave away a penalty against Wolves in the 33rd minute to go 1-0 down. However, we did manage to come back from this and get the three points, winning 2-1. We lost against Newcastle 4-3, conceding two penalties in that game, one in the sixth minute to go one down and then another in the 77th minute, which was closely followed by another two goals from them to lose us the three points. Against Arsenal, we conceded a penalty in the 41st minute to go 2-0 down, but this started an absolute on onslaught of goals with another two coming between then and half time and you can't help but question whether things might have been slightly different without that penalty sort of turning the tides completely on us and then against Sheffield United we gave away a penalty in the 103rd minute to drop two points and end the game 2-2 in heartbreaking fashion against the team that we really wanted to beat. And these have just been since the start of 2024. So out of those four games where we gave away penalties, we would have got three points against Newcastle and we would have also got three against Sheffield United instead of the one point. So we've dropped five points there that easily. And that obviously would push us right up the table, take us away from the teams that we're competing with and would have made a massive difference. Obviously, you do give away some penalties in the game, but if we could give away slightly less, it would be making a big difference to us. But it's not just the difference that the goals have made to how we're playing and where we are this season but the psychological impact that the penalties have had and the impact that's had in the game so you could argue that any of these games would have turned out quite differently if we didn't make things so difficult for ourselves and let the other team get on the front foot and just give them the opportunity to get goals and the penalties have been quite a big part of this so what is going so wrong for us compared to other clubs? Now, I want you to drop a comment with your thoughts. So make sure you drop on below. And also, if you've not already hit the thumbs up, please make sure you do. But these two stats for me perfectly sum up the reason and excuse the confusing table. But the first is that this season, West Ham have had an average possession of 41.2%, which is the fourth lowest in the league. And the second stat is that we have allowed our opponents to have more touches inside our penalty area than any other team in the league, apart from Sheffield United. And we should be doing a lot better than that. And that right there is what I believe our issue is. It's impossible to give the opposition so much more of the ball than we have with it being in our own box so much of the time and just keep absorbing this pressure without conceding a goal or making a mistake that leads to a penalty. But with our style of play, how on earth do we cut this out? It definitely seems like another argument for playing more on the front foot with a more attacking style. Um, so essentially, we just spend less time in our own box. But it's also highlighting the need for something that almost always directly relate to the number of points that you get from a game, and that is possession. Obviously, there's a smash and grab style of play, but... Most of the time, the team with the most possession is the team with the most of the ball, that is the team that is going to get the most chances and therefore is the team that's going to get most goals and therefore is the team that goes away with those points. But playing on the break can only take you so far when you use it against the majority of teams in the league. Against the top teams, when you can't expect most of the possession, it does make sense. But against the teams that we should be technically better than, we, given the sense of the creativity that we've got in our team, we really, really should be trying to actually hold the ball and then turn this into goals. And of course, this would take pressure off our defence having to leap in at the last moment, which is where I think we're giving away these penalties. So that's my take on the, the penalty situation. More possession, less time in our own box, less need to dive into stop shots on goal, less penalties awarded to the opposition. Simples. So of course, let us know your thoughts in the comments. How do you think we can cut out the amount of penalties that we are giving away? And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the West Ham Network. We have loads and loads of exciting content coming your way and we don't want you to miss out. So also tune in at 5pm where I'm going to be running through your Hammers headlines for the day. And until next time, come on, you irons, let's stop giving away those penalties. <laughs>